next couple of weeks, I'm going to be making two videos a week. So you can use this to help you study. I do work privately with teachers one-on-one, -on -one, and there is also the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshops, which if you haven't gone to, you should really check out. They're a lot of fun. And uh, usually um, a teacher would go to a workshop, they would do the tutoring privately one-on-one, -on -one, and they'd be in a great shape to uh, pass their test. That's just how it works. But um, you, I also want to give this opportunity for you to learn online. And so this video and other videos are going to help you do that. This is Chris Abraham. Thank you for watching Go Math. Let's get started on our, our next concept. Have a great day. See you soon. Hi team. So I have, a, I have a question here, number 13. Just by visually looking at it, I see that it's a coordinate grid with an X and Y axis. And it has a, it has a line. And the question goes, a line is showed on the coordinate grid below. And then it says, which of the following represents the uh, best represents an equation of this line? So I want to first just, you know, look at this line. When I look at this line, I'm looking at, you know, my answer choices A, B, C, and D. And I'm always going to go back to this uh, by general formula for, uh, y, for uh, lines, which is, you know, the y-intercept formula. So that I have here, you know, this basic formula, y equals mx. Uh, this is, oops, that should be an x there, mx plus b. By the way, remember, I don't know if you remember this, I always put my slope in a triangle to help me remember that it's a, a mountain. Um, I'm either going up or down the mountain. If I go up the mountain, in this direction here, this means um, I have a positive slope. And if I go down the mountain, it has a negative slope. And then I think about my b as my starting point or my y-intercept. So, if we think about this as our slope, we think about this as our start, or, or, or you can say, you know, the y-intercept. I could go to these answer choices here, and uh, I could see that here is the slope of, I'm putting a triangle around the slopes of these lines here, and I'll put a circle around the y-intercept here. This is where we're supposedly starting. And I'm looking for the equation that best represents this line. Well, we just talked about how if we look at the line and just visually asking ourselves, you know, is it going from low to high? Because if it's going from low to high, remember it's going up the mountain. And that means when you go up the mountain, you have a positive slope. So if I'm just thinking in terms of a positive slope, and I look at these, these lines again, well, if it's a positive slope, this line, um, that would mean that um, answer choice A, which has a negative slope, and answer choice B, which has a negative slope, could not be the answers. And so just by knowing that, you know, looking at a line and knowing that it's going from low, that's low, and going to high, like as you, uh, you know, how we said earlier, thinking about that mountain, when you're going from low to high, you're going up the mountain, it's a positive slope, I could very quickly eliminate choices A and B. So I want you to use that strategy to help you. Now, coming up with, you know, C and D, there's a whole bunch of ways we could do that. Um, if I remember, and we'll talk about this a little later on, but if I remember that our starting point is negative 1, visually that's what it is on the graph, and I remember my formula, Y equals mx plus b, m is our slope, b is our y-intercept, uh, so in this line right here it would be, what is our slope? Well, all, all I need to know is that our slope for now is going to be positive times x plus b, well in this case right here, b is negative 1, that's my, uh, so it's actually going to be minus, um, minus 1. I could look at these choices and Answer choice C and D both have positive slopes, but C is the one that actually has a starting point of negative 1. So the answer choice is actually C. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. Just by looking at the graph, you can determine if it has a positive or a negative slope. And if you can determine that, that one little detail, you're guaranteed to probably be able to eliminate at least one or two of the answer choices right off the bat without doing any calculations. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the uh, upcoming MTEL Math workshops, or uh, you can look at the, the schedule that's posted uh, in the upcoming uh
portions of this video. Thank you, everyone. Again, this is Chris Abraham from Intel or um, GoMath.com. Keep on doing the math. Keep on sending your questions, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Now let's look at these graphs and these lines and determine the slope values. In answer, answer choice A, the line is flat. It doesn't go up. It doesn't go down. It has a zero, a slope of zero. In answer choice B, it actually goes up pretty rapidly from low to high. So it has a positive slope, and it's a, a steep positive slope. Answer choice C goes from low to high, so it's a positive slope, not as steep as answer choice B. Um, and then the final one, answer choice D, goes from high to low, which means it has a negative slope. Take a look at that problem. Make sure you understand that. Finally, in this problem here, you're asked to find out what would be a possible parallel line. Now, parallel lines um, have the same slope. So if two lines are parallel, they're going to have the exact same slope. Now, just by looking at the picture, I'm hoping you see that it's going from high to low. That means it's going to have a negative slope. So the parallel line that it's going to match has a negative slope. Hi team, here's a copy of the one-on-one -on -one MTEL math schedule in the fall and winter. Take a look and see if any of these times work. I'd be happy to work with you if you know you need some one-on-one -on -one help. And here's some more information about the MTEL math workshop. This is fun. It's a great opportunity to get a great overview of the math MTELs. You should definitely take advantage of it. We have them throughout the year. Thanks everyone for listening. Leave your comment in the box below. Have a great day.